Hi, I'm Penny Smith from the Student and Foreign National Employment Office. I manage this department within the Division of Human Resources. Today I'm here to speak to you about compensation overview for graduate assistants. I want to go over you the new hire forms for graduate students and most of these forms are forms that will be completed by the hiring department on your behalf. There's a PD 441 graduate student employee new hire checklist, EPA internal salary authorization form or the PD 440 student recommendation form, employment eligibility verification form which is the form I-9, the EPA application for employment, graduate assistantship contract, the W-4 and the NC-4 withholding allowance certificates as well as a direct deposit form. The EPA internal salary authorization form, who completes this form? It is completed by your mentor, the department chair, the dean, and it is completed for monthly pay. The form will be found on the Human Resources website and it's not a form that will be completed by you, the graduate assistant. Again, it is completed by the mentor, department, ch chairperson, dean, and it is completed for your monthly pay. The PD 440, which is a student recommendation form, this form again is completed by the same uh, people, mentors, department chairs, dean, and it is completed if you are hired and are going to be paid hourly. The Employment Eligibility Form, Form I-9. This form is prepared by the Division of Re Human Resources on or before the first day of work. No student should begin work without clearance. We have to make sure this form is in place and you would contact our department once you've been um, hired so that we can get this form completed. <laughs>